Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and man, I'm I excited to show you one of the coolest products available in the open market. If you're interested, you'll find uh, information on this unit down below. Uh, the stock number is 5N211429. And again, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can reach out to me at 303-562-8659. I am always happy to answer a phone call. Uh, send me a text. Uh, I do, I answer my phones. I get back to people by email. And I love helping people find great products like this. Um, as usual, you can find us at TTTRV at YouTube if you missed this live presentation on Facebook. And you can find me at RVs Inside Out. I do like to start my videos from Inside Out. So Jody, take her on back. Okay, so today's video is pretty cool. Um, this is a Solus Pocket. And, um, you know, for a lot of people that are looking for an RV, this is exactly what you want. Something that's got, you know, 20 gallons of fresh water on board, a porta potty, um, a nice place where you can take an outdoor shower. And it's overall pretty simple. Uh, that's what this coach is. This is overall really pretty simple. This is built on the Ram Promaster chassis. Um, as you can see, it has a ton of cool features to it. Uh, for instance, this screen, which zips down the middle. Um, also, you have this really nice setup here where you can set up a shower. So you just connect this. There's a little curtain that goes across. You use some magnets because you can just magnet them to the exterior of this coach. You can zip up these windows so you've got some privacy. Um, it's just a really, really cool setup. Um, you can also zip up these windows if you want it to be dark while you're sleeping. Um, so what's nice about this RV is that it does a lot of cool things. First of all, there's a ton of storage up here. Uh, one of the most important things that we have going for us is going to be bike storage. So Jody, if you want to kind of pull on in there, I'm going to get my measuring tape and we're going to measure some stuff. Um, for those of you who want someone who doesn't uh, go on too much about measurements and lengths, I'm not the person for you. For me, I really like to provide the information about actual application in the field. So this is 52 inches uh, deep, if you need to know that, uh, just in case you want to figure out if your bike would fit. And then in terms of depth or width here, it's 34 inches across. And then up to this tabletop, you clear just about 36 inches tall. So what's really nice about this is, first of all, you'll see that we have adjustable um, clamps that you can put in different types of track all along the coach. Uh, so this is a really nicely insulated coach with a lot of flexibility and storage. And then we have this cool thing called a molly panel. Uh, you can hang gear on the back of this. You could use this if you wanted to use um, some zip ties to tether things to it. All sorts of different things. If you had a pet and you wanted to be able to keep your dog in your coach, uh, this coach does have an air conditioner uh, that you would be able to use if you're plugged in at a campsite or if you had an exterior generator. Uh, this will not run on this coach without being plugged in or without an auxiliary generator. This coach does not have a generator on it. Um, but for those of you that are looking to bring pets camping, great location of this molly panel. Um, if your children are out of hand, you can also keep them in here. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, if you have like a two-year-old and you want to be able to have like a place where you can put a playpen, this would definitely be something that you could use and go out and really go camping and enjoy yourself. Um, some other nice features you can see how much water you have here. And when you turn this light on, it acts as both a night light and then you can actually see when you're getting close to empty, which I just think is fantastic. Super easy to pour in here. Uh, we try to count all of the uh, USB ports that you'll find throughout the coach. There's two here. There's a nine volt here. Um, there's more up here in this overhead compartment as well. Jody, where did you find that other one? Oh, it's in the back. Okay, sorry, not in the overhead compartment. Um, but so we found, I think we tallied up like eight or nine of them total. But as you can see, just lots of great storage up here. And then these magnets that go to the ceiling allow you to not have to worry about bumping your head. And then to open them, they're just a really simple lock, simple lock and release button. Uh, so super, super cool storage. And then take a look at this. For those of you that are maybe wanting to go up and do some snowboarding, maybe you need to you know, get your bindings adjusted. You've got 52 inches here of countertop. I mean, just so much room. Um, and then also another 17 and a half inch deep countertop. So tons and tons of cool space here. And then behind here, you'll find, look at all of this 
super great storage. Um, so this is going to be 19 inches deep and it's going to be about 20 inches across. And in terms of loading space, you've got just under a foot. So a ton of space there. And of course, we already knew that this was 17 inches on the countertop. So just a little less, 14 inches deep here. And then this cubby itself is going to come all the way in at 32 inches. And uh, in terms of storage space here, you're going to have another six, oh, five and a half inches in terms of clearance. So the reason I go through all of these measurements is because as you're going into this coach and you're thinking about, gosh, well, how would this work for my world? What can I put in here? If you have, you know, specific items that you're trying to fit, I try to give you a lot of information so you can make a decision. Um, this coach is really, really, really uh, nice and easy to use. It has a great bed setup. So this is a Murphy bed style. And let me just get this little bad boy out of here. Um, I have it set up today in the front so that you're using it as if it is a, um, a chaise, which is nice. But if you take a look at this space that you have here, you have so much room uh, to sleep here. And I'm going to go ahead and hop on top of this bed and show you how much room you have. But it's just so cool because now you've got your bikes out, you've got your gear set up, you're having a little bonfire, it's time to chill. Um, let's go ahead and move this to this other side. And you want to get some sleep, some shut eye, big hike the next morning or whatever. Um, so it's so nice to have a coach that has a great bed set up. So this cushion, and I'm just going to show it to you right here. Um, this cushion that you have here can be used on the chaise lounge up here as a couch. Uh, for right now, we're just going to set it up as part of the bed. So you put this here just to make sure everything stays in place to give you another cushion. And one of the things that's interesting to understand about Winnebago is Winnebago makes 75% of their product. So when I say makes, I mean Stitchcraft, there's a bunch of women sitting there with sewing machines creating these cushions. So they fit exactly in this compartment, but look at how much space, oh, maybe you put your feet down here, how much space you have. So totally comfy. You can really easily fit two people side by side. You've got a nice screen that's vented. And if you wanted to know the total width across from window to window with reasonable space, I always like these real time estimates because, or measurements because they're, they're actual. So that's 74 inches across. Um, so lots and lots of space up here. But what's so nice about this is, is this is really nice space. And like when I'm sitting here like this with my elbow up on my side, my hip is feeling comfortable. I'm feeling supported. So this could be a really comfortable sleeping area for two people. Um, meanwhile, you could even have your pooch down below with your door closed and keeping your puppy where he's supposed to be at night, just as if he's in his little crate. So super handy there as well. Uh oh, just dropped my mic. Let me get that back in place. Um, so yeah, so this is just super, super functional. Um, as you'll see here too, up above, we have another two USB ports and another nine volt. You also have uh, these little cubbies where you can put your, um, your supplies, like, you know, your cell phone, your wallet, such, and you've got these nice little tap lights. So just a really fantastic execution um, of sleeping accommodations on behalf of Winnebago. And then what's really nice about it is it's really easy to put everything away. I'm going to leave this other cushion out just so I can show you how that integrates into this couch in a few minutes. Uh, but as you can see, I just pop everything up here, raise up this panel. It's got a little seat belt to keep it in place. There you go. All set up. Um, just really, really cool. Um, now, as you can see here, so first of all, we can close this, zip this, but back here, you do have some important things, more tie down points, all adjustable. And then here's what your water station. So super cool here, fresh water, uh, fresh tank fill, everything right here, your water pump, again, more USB point ports, uh, 110 outlets as well. And then you've got this little guy here. And what's nice about this little guy here, this little guy here is an auxiliary port for a solar panel. 
Now, if you want to be able to use your USB ports to charge your phone, then you need solar power. You might want to park under a tree, right? You might not want to park um, out in the sun. Most people who are camping like to park under a tree. Well, this little auxiliary port allows you to continue charging your solar system with your ZAMP panels, and you can actually take a panel out and put it remotely in the sun and still park in the shade. Now, one thing to note about this uh, chassis is right now I am running uh, this Ram ProMaster chassis. So it's got a really cool, great high def backup camera right here. It's awesome. It really makes it easy to park. It shows up in your mirror. It's just the most awesome thing you've seen. Now this has got a 20, 24 gallon fuel capacity. And when we say uh, 24 gallons, this coach is not like six or seven miles to the gallon like those big diesel pushers. This is getting fuel efficiency in the teens. So that's super, super nice to see. And then as you can see, in terms of a size, this little pocket is just tiny. So what's nice about this is if you're looking at something that you want to be able to take, you know, not, not only camping, but you also want to be able to take it to work, 17.9 feet long, um, which is just fantastic. I mean, this, parks into, this fits into a regular parking spot at the grocery store. Um, I do have it set up right now where the table's outside, because I think that that's where you'll spend most of your time. And one of the things that's nice about that is if you want to grab a nice cold refreshment at the end of a long day, you've got access to both your refrigerator and freezer right here. And guess what else is right next to this refrigerator and freezer? More USB ports. I mean, dude, you can charge your phone anywhere. You can also plug this in and use your air pump for your, um, for your paddleboard. And you can fit your paddleboards back there underneath that seat with those molly panels. So this is the setup um, that I thought was super cool. Um, oh, so first of all, I have this overhead storage just opened up to show you, you got some really nice long storage. Um, very, very cool here. Um, and keep in mind, like you see all this stuff that you see, anytime you see this metal that's black like this, this is E-coated. This is throughout the entire coach. Uh, Winnebago has a really cool process where they'll actually dip this in 10 different tanks and they will um, corrosion proof their any of their steel components, any of the components that you're gonna see here, this is all smooth, it's not gonna cut your hand, all durable, um, and all of this is manufactured. Everything that's in this cabin is manufactured at Winnebago. The other thing that's manufactured at Winnebago is the water tanks. So you can actually get this, this coach is within 100 uh, gallons or 100 pounds of uh, equal on each side. So there's a really nice, uh, flat, good feeling when you're going down the road. It doesn't feel tippy because Winnebago is able to actually create water tanks, furniture, and get everything to weigh out correctly so that you've got a really level feel when you're driving. The other thing that they make, like these window surrounds, so they can maximize the size of the windows. They make these curtains. Um, everything that you see that they make is designed so that you can really get as much space out of this coach as possible. Um, one of the things that they wanted to make sure they did is give you lots of access to plugs. So more USB ports down here. Anyone who wants to really work on the road, uh, you can run, there's little grommets here, so you can run computers and the like into each one of these compartments. And as you can see how flexible the space is, like you could keep a laptop in here, that's plugged in, you could run out a cord, um, you could run it out through here if you wanted to and have a monitor up top so that you could work. And the reason I put this together today is because this little table here can be set up. And so this cushion can go, you know, back over here. And this, this, this would go back behind um, this side of the couch. So you could have a table like this with two people sitting on it on either side. But if it's just, you know, you and your girlfriend and you're hanging out and you're camping, I took the back off of the cushion. I removed these. I put the table over here. And the reason I did that is because, man, you could just like totally chill and both like watch a movie. If you wanted to put your couch cushion here and have a couch, your girlfriend could turn her chair around. You guys could eat at this table. And one of the things that's interesting about this coach is that this coach is really part of that same segment where you see the Revel, but look at how much more open this is. I mean, you have so much more room in this RV because of the way that you can kind of configure this couch. And there's five configurations that Winnebago has advertised for setup and you don't have to go with those five. I haven't really found anything that I like better than this chaise lounge uh, setup. But if you had a few people watching a movie, of course you want to be comfy. So you want that rear cushion 
and totally cool setup. Still got a place to put your beer. Most important thing. All right, so this is your big small drawer. Your big small drawer for those of you that are out there already trying to buy silverware trays, just over 12 inches and 11 and then tall we're looking just about three and a half your little small drawer is going to be just about seven inches so bigger than you'd expect and then your big drawer down here is going to be that same depth so once again 13 inches by 11 and then in terms of height you could probably get away with oh 12 and a half inches tall so a can of cooking spray or you know any of those types of things olive oil if you want to bring your balsamic vinegar for salads things like that great place for that uh, one review that i read said i wish there was an adjustable sink i don't disagree but the thing that's nice about this is the way that they've got this set up is you've got plenty of room to put in a tall pot and then you can bring it full of water and then move it back to the side so that's good um, you've also got this nice little uh, gas stove here you've got a 4.7 gallon propane tank on board uh, so that's cool um, again we talked about that solar so all your solars here as you can see and then um, one of the things that's super nice about this coach is that you can drop these uh, screens but still get in and out of the coach really easily so they just magnet back together that way you don't have to unzip and zip every single time you come in uh, which I think is pretty darn cool um, and for, in terms of a towing capacity, this has got a 3,500 pound towing capacity. So if you did have like a little skid that you wanted, like, you know, like a small boat or anything like that, that you wanted to take out, this would totally be able to handle that as well. And then I want to show you outside because one of the nice features that Winnebago does is we've talked a lot about what you do with your dogs when it's raining and they're stuck inside, but what do you do with your puppies when they're stuck outside? Um, so I'm going to put the table away, assume we've already had our barbecue, chips and dips are done. Puppies dough, you want to leave them here by the campsite so you can go on a nice little, you know, walk after dinner, leave the dogs at home. Great places to tie them in both sides here. And then another nice feature about this Ram Promaster is that it's a front wheel drive vehicle. So uh, the Mercedes Benz competition is little more expensive this is a really affordable RV um, if you're interested in how affordable it is due to all of the things that we have to type if we quote prices we don't quite we don't quote prices during videos text me I'll send you a proposal I'll tell you exactly how much it is how much I'd sell it to you for no strings attached I'll just answer your question um, anyway so lots and lots of, of storage here because at the end of the day if you know anything about these Ram Promasters these are work trucks so the people who are using these are actually using these uh, on the day-to-day -day because they're plumbers, they're painters, they're people that really need to have the utility. So this is a hugely utilitarian vehicle. But we do provide you with some really nice um, these the little window protectors. So you've got the ones for the side that fit in here and for the front so you can keep it nice and dark on the inside. Like I said, this is just such a cool, cool video. And then for people who are concerned and go, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to always be, you know, plugged into, you know, shore power. Well, I have this running and I'm running the air conditioning right now. Can you hear the engine? Jody's shaking his head. Even Jody, who's sitting here with me, can hear I-25 over the engine in this ProMaster. Super quiet. Um, and you get cool stuff like a real glove compartment. A great place to keep your cell phone while you're driving. Um, just really, really nice features. I love this like little clipboard. Have you ever had a park pass that's flown off of your dash every time you opened your window? I mean, I just, I love this. The other thing I really like about this chassis is that you have blind spot assistance. And then you have this great, uh, you know, rear view backup camera. Then it's gonna show you, I'm gonna take this little sticker off because, well, it's fine, you can see it. So when I turn it, it actually shows you where your uh, where your parking is so you can actually see how much room you have behind you and that little yellow line is how much room you'd want to have to let someone park in front of you so you would be able to open your doors the red's just a little bit too close the yellow is where you want to be and then the green is going to be where the beginning of the next car is so super super nice that you have everything right here air conditioning uh, so you've got your dual air conditioners 
And then one of the things that's missing here is a great place to keep your registration, but this is where we need to have our rear view mirror, but we still have a rear view mirror in this coach, which is so incredibly nice because I can actually use this rear view mirror as a camera so you can see behind you right now. So I've got one here for parking. I've got one here for when I'm driving down the road. I can see if I passed somebody, if Johnny Law is behind me. But when I tilt it down, I can use it to do my lip gloss. I just love that feature. Um, okay, um, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people get very annoyed about how excited I am about my job. I just love selling RBs. It's so much fun. Um, I built my first B-Class um, Mercedes-Benz chassis on my own, cut in my own windows, cut in my own air conditioner. Um, I drove that beast for seven years. I put 80,000 miles on it. Um, just absolutely love camping. Now, of course, I'm glamping now. I've got a Superstar that I bought. Um, I already traded in my Renegade Verona, which is also fantastic. Um, but so I've done all these applications and it's just so exciting to be able to bring different products to the marketplace for people. And this pocket, if it had existed, I don't even know if I'd had this job because this is such a great mobile tent. Now, um, one of the things I love about this chassis is, first of all, super simple. But when I'm sitting here, I have great command. I can see everything around me and I have the most important thing. Dude, I have an armrest. You so need an armrest. So Jody, if you want to come around the other side, I'm going to go ahead and show some of this stuff over here because we are going to talk about cruise control, turn signals, lights control. Um, but so one of the great things about this, this coach is, first of all, it's really easy to get into. You've got nice handles, but everything is super simple. Like it's everything that you'd want. Like you've got your voice control here for your phone. You can turn your volume up and down. You've got your mute. So you've got your steering wheel controls. You've got your cruise control right here. And then you have all the storage spots over here again. So once again, this is a very, very useful coach that's designed for people to be able to get in and out of very simply. Here's your fuel door. So uh, true story, when I went to, um, when I went to fill up my, uh, my first Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, I actually sold them at that time for Mercedes-Benz and I couldn't find the fuel door. Um, the other thing that we have here, and I know we talked about it, but this is your 30 amp plug. It's right here. So still business on the, you know, business in the front party in the back. And then here's access to your, um, to your uh, propane tank. Really nice that you can just pick one of these up at Costco to sub them out. So you've got some friends coming up for the weekend. You're a little low on propane. Have them bring a tank to you. Uh, integrated turn signals. The windshield wipers on this are super cool. Um, they're really big. Your jets are right here. And then here's that Ram ProMaster chassis. And like I told you guys, it, this is running. So this is the sound of it running. Um, it's just a great vehicle. Um, if you are in the market and you haven't test driven any of these yet, I really encourage you to know I love the way these drive. Uh, this coach is available. Again, this is 5N211. 429. Uh, you're here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in sunny, sunny Colorado. It's a great day to come down. If you haven't driven a Ram ProMaster yet, um, I encourage you to know like out of all the RVs that I sell, oh, last thing, Jody, we got to talk about. Um, I love this uh, RV. When I built mine, uh, we also had a porta potty. The fact that they give you a place to keep it in this is so nice. And then all you really need to do, you guys, is buy one of those cool tents. If you want everyone to know where your John is, you can get like a bright orange one or a hot pink one um, so you don't get shot by uh, hunters, you know, off season. If you don't want anyone to know that you're in the potty, you can get a camo one. Um, but then you don't have to go potty in your coach. You could bring it outside, have one of those little pop-up tents. They're really like 45 bucks. Uh, that's what we used all the time. We didn't usually use our, uh, our coach for those purposes. Uh, but again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, if you need any other measurements or you just want to hang out and have fun and drive around and do donuts in our parking lot, give me a call. Thanks, man. Hope to see you camping soon.